All right, this video addresses just how to, what's the best NVIDIA driver, how to remove it, how, how to remove an NVIDIA driver like cleanly, if you wanna install GeForce Experience, all that stuff. So first of all, if you download a tool called MV Clean Install here, I would use this um, for best NVIDIA driver currently, in my opinion, it can obviously change from person to person. Um, 466.47 is the best NVIDIA driver right now for Valorant, I think at least. I'm not sure about other games. Um, but yeah, so let's say you want to install, if you have no NVIDIA driver installed, well, let's start, let's start by removing an old NVIDIA driver. What you want to do to remove an old NVIDIA driver is download a program called the Display Driver Uninstaller. You can grab it from Google. Once you grab it, you're going to want to boot into safe mode. To do that, you can press power, hold shift, and click restart. When you do that, you're going to go to troubleshoot, advanced advanced options, advanced, and then you're going to go to um, startup settings, and you're going to hit restart. When you do that, it's going to boot up again. It's going to give you a bunch of options, and you're going to boot into safe mode. It's number four. So you click four on your keyboard. It's going to go into safe mode. You're then going to open display driver uninstaller. So make sure you have it downloaded. The safe mode pop-up won't come up once you're in safe mode. You're gonna to go to options. You're gonna prevent the downloads from downloading here. You're then gonna go select device type. You're gonna select GPU and you're gonna hit clean and restart. This is gonna clean the NVIDIA driver. It's gonna wipe it and that's gonna boot you back into Windows and it's gonna look like shit because you're gonna be in 60 Hertz and you're just gonna, you're not gonna have a driver installed. Then you're gonna to wanna to open MV clean install. You're gonna go manual select a driver, 466.47, the desktop version, not that you can do the DCH2, it doesn't matter, desktop version here. Hit next, check physics in this box. If you're doing the debloated version, this is the way you wanna go. If you want GeForce experience, don't follow these steps, I'll explain it in a second. Leave these two checked, next, it's gonna download the driver, blah, blah, blah. In the meantime, I'm just going to go to the driver website for this. This is all going to load, blah, blah, blah. Once it's done, you're going to check the first, middle, last box, and you're going to click these three. You're going to hit next. Then you're going to hit install. I'm obviously not going to go through and install this. Make sure you don't close this window. You're going to hit system check. You're going to hit a green continue custom and next. This is right. Hit next. And once you do that, it's going to, and you're just going to hit install. It's going to install. Once it's done, if you do it the debloated way without GeForce experience, once you hit finish a pop, do not close this window until you see a pop-up come up that says HD audio timer resolution, blah, blah. You'll see something that comes up, hit okay on that, then close this. If you're not going that route and you're going the NVIDIA driver, if you want GeForce experience, Go over to the NVIDIA website, just type in download drivers, NVIDIA download drivers, and you're going to go to, uh, you're going to see this page here. You're going to go to beta and old drivers down here. Find your car, GeForce, RTX 20 series is here, 10 series is here. I have a 30 series, select your car, 3090, 64-bit, gear, standard, DCH. I go DCH if you're going um, GeForce experience route, recommended certified, hit search. You're going to grab this, you're going to hit download, and you're going to download it. Just gonna install it like normal. Once you do get in, make sure that you uncheck the optimized games for me, and then go through. And when you press Alt Z, it's gonna pop up your GeForce Experience overlay. Just go through and through the settings and just uncheck stuff you don't need, like live streaming and any of the crap you don't need. You can turn off all the notifications, all that kind of stuff. Also, you want to go down and prevent uh, in the GeForce Experience pub. You want to make sure that you prevent it from up doing updates for you, like when it says notify updates, all that crap. Make sure you don't have automatic updates on. That's a big thing. If you join my Discord server here, uh, I have optimization updates here for and NVIDIA updates here. So if you're in my Discord, you'll be able to see like when new ones come out, I test them. Um, next thing you wanna do for, um, once you do do the NVIDIA, like once you install a driver, is you wanna hop into, if you still have the to-do folder, if you haven't done any of the optimizations that I've recommended, you might still have this to-do folder. If not, you can grab it again. You want to go into MSI mode. And you want to make sure if you have, if you do not have a 30 series card, well, actually any series card, make sure you check the MSI mode here. If 
if you have a 30 series card, leave this as undefined. If you have anything below a 30 series card, check, change this to high. Once you've done that, make sure you go to device manager, go to view devices by connection, and you can, it'll probably look something like this. You can open these brackets here and you can, this might be closed for you. And just, you go through all of these here until you, you can open them all until you find your PCI to PCI bridge that has your graphics card and your high definition audio controller. If you use monitor audio, do not do this. But if you don't, right click and disable this right here. You do not need this. Make sure you disable this. That's pretty much it. That's all you have to do. As for overclocking, or if you have MSI Afterburner here, what you can do is if you don't have a 30 series card, you can crank this voltage here to 100%, increase these, uh, press this down arrow, increase both of these. You can put plus 50 on the core, you can do, sorry, 25 on the core and do plus 50 on here and leave this on auto. Don't worry that mine's 100. This would be your best settings if you have anything but besides a 30 series card. If you do have a 30 series card, what you'd want to do is, these things love to be undervolted. So that's what I'm doing here. That's why there's a curve. You can look up undervolting, but pretty much you just want to set a curve that it's stable at for a certain voltage. Look more into that or you can message me. I can help you undervolt your, your 30 series card. Also for 30 series cards, you're going to want to Make sure that resizable bar is enabled, which is another thing. I'm not going to walk through it, but you have to update your GPU and you have to go into the BIOS and uh, make sure that your BIOS is up to date and enable resize bar, all that kind of fun stuff. Also for NVIDIA settings, obviously you want to use the advanced 3D settings. These are mine. I'm just going to quickly go through them here. I'm not using G-Sync currently. Physics selected this. Change res, obviously 360. Play on digit vibrance of 80%. No scaling. So I'm playing in 1920 right now. Uh, this is off. This I have used with NVIDIA settings advanced full. And this I have on both these at 0%. That's it. That's everything you need to do. If you're looking to remove, like if you want GeForce Experience, or if you need, like if you are looking to develop your NVIDIA driver, those are pretty much the steps you have to follow. If you have any questions, join the Discord or leave a comment. Thanks for watching.